Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ty and if you are thinking about getting a road glide or you're trying to formulate your opinion about a road glide, you have come to the right place because I'm going to be telling you some of my experiences, expectations, and really just what I think about the Harley Davidson road glide. So let's start a little bit with my experience with glides. I've always been a street glide type of guy. My very first Harley Davidson was a Road King. After that, I uh, bought a just a normal old street glide, 2020 street glide, and then I got a 2021 street glide CVO. And I have not, really nothing bad to say about the street glides. They are fantastic motorcycles. I'm a big fan, still a big fan of the Batwing fairing, but all of my friends started getting road glides, all of them. And some of them have had road glides for years. And so I'm thinking to myself, what is the fascination with the Harley Davidson road glide? Went on a few demo rides, that type of thing. Really tough to formulate your opinion on a, on a 10 minute demo ride, but I knew that I liked it very much. So out comes Harley Davidson with the 120th anniversary edition motorcycles. I saw them and I said, you know what? I've got to have it. I've got to have it. I don't want the street glide. We're going road glide this time. We are going road glide. And I haven't looked back since. So if you're looking for 10 reasons why to buy a road glide, that type of thing, I'm not going to give you that. Instead, I'm going to give you 5,600 plus reasons why you should buy a road glide. So when I first bought this motorcycle, one of the very first things that I did was take it on a trip to Florida. I mean, I think I had possession of this bike less than 24 hours, and me and a buddy, we jumped on the box and we took off to Florida. It was our epic road trip, and what a fantastic road trip it was to get used to this motorcycle. It worked out great. And then when I came back, let's see, what else have I done? Went up to Ohio to ride the Windy 9 with some of my best buds. And then we uh, recently went to Tazewell, Virginia to ride the back of the Dragon. And that was a lot of fun. So I have taken some road trips on this bike and gotten it out of town on some overnight trips a couple of different times. And then, you know, there's always those all day Saturday rides, all day Sunday rides. So in the short amount of time, I've been able to put, uh, put a decent amount of miles on this bike and had a blast doing it. The Road Glide Special. It is, as Harley classifies it, a Grand American Touring Motorcycle, and man, it is built for it for sure. But if you're not gonna do a lot of touring, is the Road Glide still a good motorcycle for you? I'm gonna say yes, absolutely, 100% yes. Especially if you're thinking about just getting this motorcycle, you're not gonna be going on long trips, but let's say you're gonna be commuting. You're gonna be going back and forth to work. You're gonna be riding here and there with your buddies on the weekend. Is the Road Glide in those situations, if you're not doing a lot of touring, is it a good motorcycle to have? Yes, absolutely. Man, I love this bike. I love hopping on this bike and sometimes just going out for a ride, kind of like I'm doing now, just farting around, going out with friends, going out to dinner, back and forth to work. All those type of things are a great reason to have the Road Glide. I mean, think about it. You've got your saddlebags, anything that you can think of, you can just throw in the bags and you are all set. I mean, when I go back and forth to work, I've got to carry a laptop. I can fit my laptop bag in there, some miscellaneous things, maybe some lunch, those type of things. And the Road Glide is spectacular for that. Now, touring on the Road Glide Special. That is where this bike shines, man. You get this bike out on the open road, you're going all day, you're putting down miles on the freeway and maybe some crazy little back roads and that type of thing. This is what this motorcycle was built for. 
as I mentioned, I've done a couple of different uh, touring trips on this bike. I've got more coming up. Now, I also own a 2022 Lowrider ST. Now, if I'm going to go on a long motorcycle trip, let's say a weekend trip, this is, this is my go-to bike. I mean, I love my Lowrider ST, don't get me wrong. But if I'm going to go on a multiple day bike where I'm really going to be sitting on the motorcycle and in the saddle for hours and hours and hours, this is going to be the motorcycle that I'm going to go for. And, you know, there's a couple different reasons for that. Um, number one, it's just super comfortable. I mean, I've got this one dialed in exactly where I need it. I've got a great stereo in this one. The shark nose fairing just really cuts through the wind. We're going to be talking about that in a minute. So there's a lot of pluses. And I highly recommend this motorcycle for long road trips. So the Milwaukee 8114 is what you were going to get in the Road Glide Special. Now, for me, going out and about, doing my type of thing, my, the type of riding that I do, the 114 is perfectly adequate, if you ask me. I really don't have any problem with it, with one or two exceptions. And that's right, let's say from the stop sign, red light, that type of thing. It does feel heavy, you know? It does feel a little slow. And maybe that is because I'm used, again, to my Lowrider ST with that zippy, with that zippy uh, 117 and a lightweight motorcycle. Yeah, that, uh, it, it, it's, it's a big, big difference there. So, if you're somebody that really likes a lot of torque, right from the line, right from the go, and you want to go fast, you might want to consider, you know, a, a, a camp or a stage upgrade <clears throat> excuse me a stage upgrade or something like that um, that's what i would recommend but for me for the most part again the 114 is perfectly fine comfortable is this motorcycle i mean that's the big thing right comfort if you're touring if you're out riding you don't want to be busted up just as soon as you hop on the motorcycle man i'll tell you this i've got this bike dialed in exactly where i need it at this point it is so comfortable i think i could ride this thing all day long and be just fine and that as a matter of fact that's exactly what i've done i'm going to keep the stock seat i have zero problem with the stock seat i did have to go through a couple of uh, handlebars before i found the ones that i really like and i settled on these pioneer 12 inch kst bars just wonderful i mean absolutely perfect for what i need and uh, as far as comfort man i guess that's about it i mean i've still got the the stock uh, windshield on there for crying out loud. The fairing on this really just kind of cocoons you in, keeps the wind off of you, zero to little buffeting. I don't really get pushed around that much on the uh, road glide. All in all, it's a super comfortable ride and a great experience. So anyway, guys, this is just a little bit of information to maybe help you along if you're thinking about going over to the road glide or maybe you just bought one, whatever the case may be. Either way, let me just say this, road glide or street glide, you cannot go wrong. Both are exceptional products from Harley Davidson and I highly recommend. So thank you guys so, so very much for your time. I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one.